let's get up out of here. Hip. Oh, nope. Now right, let's go see if Mansfield is available. And he probably I Hey. Ah, oh, hello. It's good to see you again. Welcome back to what's left of Vault 81. As you can see, we've been rather busy cleaning up. Have you ever thought about leaving the vault? Hmm. If you'd asked me that but a few months ago, I'd have laughed at the notion. However, I'll admit, I have thought of leaving. But being deputy overseer of 81 is all I've ever known. Where would I even go? What do you think about coming to work for me? Really? Are you perhaps hiring for some sort of deputy overseer position? Hmm. If it was anyone else asking, I'd probably turn them down, but considering it's you... <laughs> very well. I accept. I'll begin packing immediately. Oh, but first, I should inform the overseer. If you'd excuse me. Hey. Speak to Jake via HQ Radio. Oh, I have to leave the. Uh, I know I can take them, but they need everything they can get. Katie Go. Finn is the teacher here in '81. She'd stop by her class. She's big on learning from outsiders. Oh, thanks. I heard about what you did for Austin. Yeah, thanks. No problem, Miranda. I'm merely your humble host. Yeah. Hmm? Hello? Testing. One, two, one, two. Hey, can you hear me? Yep. I hear you. Loud and clear. <laughs> right back at you. I got so distracted by Aiden, I forgot to tell you about your Pip Boys upgrade. Well, better late than never. So, congratulations. You are now the proud owner of a fully functional two way Pip Boy radio. That's huge. No more tuning into pre recorded broadcasts. Now you got the direct line. <laughs> you can contact anyone at the HQ whenever you like. In the aid tab. That's... Sounds useful. Damn right it is. With a two-way radio, you'll no longer have to come all the way back just to give me updates. Should make staying in contact a lot easier. Speaking of, how'd it go at the vault? Did you manage to get that Mansfield guy? Yep. Yep. Oh, great. I look forward to meeting him. Say, uh, what's he like? Uh... He's a very dedicated man. Why do I get the feeling dedicated really means something else? All right. Head <laughs> on back to the plaza once you're ready. And let's see what this new guy can do. All right. That is incredibly useful.
A. A. I'll head back. It's no longer Gunner's Plaza. There's no winning with you, is there? You said stop using turrets inside, so I did. I moved on to something else. Yeah, you moved on to planting landmines inside. That's that's the part I have a problem with, Aiden. The inside part. What am I meant to do, Jake? I'm only one man. I can't watch every door. Besides, I was just testing them. I had Teresa disable the charge in each mine. None of them would have exploded. Hey, don't drag me into your little squabble. Okay, you want to beef up security around here. I get it. But are mines really the way to do that? Eh. There's just no way <clears throat> with you, is there? Oh, you said there stop you using turrets inside, we were just so I did. I moved on to something street. else. Is he here yet? No, not yet. Say, you did tell him where he'd be working, right? Like he knows to come to the plaza. Honestly, I completely forgot about it. <laughs> Hello? H Hello? Oh. Ah, that must be him now. Hey! Over here! Safe journey back to the vault. Ah. Uh, hello. Nice to meet you all. I'm Mansfield, former deputy overseer of Vault 81. Yeah, we know. Oh, right. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Um. Are you all right? You seem kind of tense. Oh, it's just being outside the vault is all still rather uh, new to me. It's quite overwhelming. But I'm sure I'll get used to it in time. For now, I suppose I should start getting settled into my new position here. So, where might I find my office? Welcome to the team, Mansfield. I'm Jake. If you want an office, there's a few rooms up top you might like. Feel free to help yourself. Up top? You mean, in here? Yes. Surely you can't be serious. This place is piled high with trash. It's dilapidated. <laughs> it's literally dripping with filth. Well, uh, yeah. That's why we asked you to come work with us. We need your expertise to clear this place out. Help get everything tidy and organized. Oh, Cedric. What have you gotten yourself into? Relax. It's gonna be fine. Hmm. That's what Dr. Forsythe would always say before an invasive medical exam. <laughs> And thus begins my exciting new career, teaching sanitation. Very well. If you need this facility cleared of all this garbage, pay attention. I shall demonstrate some of the basics. All right, go ahead. Now, watch carefully. <clears throat> you there. Yeah? Congratulations, you're a janitor. Grab a broom and get cleaning. Oh, okay. There, you see? That wasn't so hard, was it? Rule and head manager. HQ does not require you to build anything. Gather your allies and build. Okay. Leading. You have a oh. real low opinion of wastelanders, don't you? Believe it or not, most of us know how to clean. The state of our current surroundings would beg to differ. How'd you even allow things to deteriorate this badly? Who's the head of facilities? Uh, we don't have one. In fact, we don't really have no heads of anything. No department heads? No wonder you're in such disarray. You can't expect to run a facility without clear, predefined roles. <laughs> huh. Could work. Uh, if we're gonna start assigning roles, I'm taking charge of security. Yep. Hey, if Aiden gets security, then I'm calling head of engineering. Slow down. It's not a competition. Assuming you're both qualified for those positions, that should be fine. Since you've no head of facilities, I'll fulfill that role. Now, usually in a vault, department heads answer directly to an overseer. I'll be the overseer. Which I suppose in this case would be you, yes? Yep. Yeah, I suppose so. 
Well then, we'll be relying on you to direct each department as you see fit. Anything else I should know? Be aware that jobs you assign will take time. But once they're complete, you shall be informed and able to make full use of said assignment's results. Let's do this. Yes. Well, please, proceed at your leisure. Hey, Chief. If it's okay with you, I'm gonna go find us a proper meeting room. I mean, this atrium's nice and all, but I'd prefer someplace less drafty and with better seating. Oh no. Come on, kid. You're helping. I am? Oh, um, okay. There is merit to Hannah's cleaning spare. Okay. Cleaning a room. Access. Okay. Priority designer and added it to the department's tasks. Okay. Clean up garbage completion time one day. Okay. Put the green meter at the top of that once project. For, for the sake of this tutorial. Okay. Okay, that's actually really fucking dope. And if I, I could just send every companion here. You appear worthless. Surely you don't need this Those are aluminum. I how dare you. And if nothing else, if I can get if we can set it up so that the work like all the workshops go here, so like everything goes in here, that'd be incredible. Incredibly useful. Once the room is clean, construct that room in the facilities department. Oh. I've got the scrap. Logistics and build. Might take several days. Okay. And it's not like IRL days. It's uh, like in-game days. This is actually fascinating. Like if I can get more people here. There is one thing I would like to build, and that's a fucking workshop. Well, just like, so I can store all my fucking junk. Okay, just checking around. Bingo. Oh. Just checking around, we'll wait for that to uh, finish up. Is it progressing? Yes, it is. It is. I'll just close that.
I have to... Okay, cool. There we go. Humanity is so resilient. To cling to life despite all of this. It is oh. the duty of us all to further that survival. 96 dwellers. Oh. Hey. Ah, oh, well. That's a bit more like it. Now that it's clear of most of the filth and has some usable furniture, this should make for an acceptable workspace. Thank you. I'm glad you're so enthusiastic. Let's not get too carried away now. Enthusiastic may be a bit of a stretch. So, now you've seen what it takes to run a proper facility. Obviously, you don't do the work yourself, but it does require direct supervision. Hmm. However, your direct involvement isn't strictly necessary. If you'd prefer, your department heads can delegate things such as cleaning, repairs, and room allocation. Allowing your HQ to run autonomously, leaving yourself free to be as involved or as deferential as you'd like. As our overseer, the decision is, of course, yours. Tell me how I can help. If you want a direct control of your HQ, you'd essentially be doing what you already have. Assigning tasks, balancing resources, deciding what gets built and where. It's a big commitment, but allows you to manage your HQ as you see fit. This sounds good. You understand, I'm only offering suggestions. You should proceed in a way that feels right to you. Mm. Do you feel you have an adequate comprehension of running your facility? If not, I can always offer further tutoring on what to do next. Oh, also, on your stance regarding HQ autonomy, I will require a formal spoken decision. It's for the paperwork, you understand. I'll take all the help I can get. So, what's next? As you wish. I'm more than happy to provide further guidance. Also, I'll set up the workstations for each department head. That way, if you change your mind or want to take direct control of any or all departments, just leave a note at the specific workstation. And okay. Even with everyone acting autonomously, you can still assign tasks yourself. Anything you assign will naturally receive priority. Uh, here, you should take this hollow tape. You may find it useful. Most of the information on it should be applicable to you in this facility. Now, I do believe your next step should be to clean up and construct some basic living quarters. At your leisure, of course. Table automation. Continue the tutorial. Yep. Okay. Each room. Apps. The HQs. Okay. lower where the heck is that
what am I? There it is. Yeah. Hey. Yes. There we go. Thankfully it's not going to take that long. And then I think I'll probably try and move everybody here. It's actually... Oh. Anything I can snatch? Come on, give me something. Behold the holy plunger. Hey, we're getting somewhere. I wonder what does happen elsewhere. It only what opens with a key. No, HQ, private quarters. Bui, B is almost there. Ooh, got lights. Is it more kitty? Hey. 
our jobs. Increasing drop count factor. Okay. Entryway. So it's a deal then. BHOS 111, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the radio station. Doing good, doing good. Just uh, figuring out some uh, Sim Settlements 2 portions because we have just acquired a full HQ and there's a completely new way to do things. So I am genuinely curious like how to do it, how to move everybody here, what it unlocks, all that sort of thing. How's your day going? What do you have for me today? You're so close to beating Fallout? Oh, which one? Like four, three, New Vegas, Tale of Two Wastelands. Which Fallout are you close to beating? Hey. Uh, but with, uh, on that note, what build are you running? Are you running like a uh, guns, melee, uh, like sneak build, one-handed? What are you running, Behas? Give me that cool. I will always take more. Okay. Thankfully, it's just going to take a minute. And while it's doing that, I'm actually going to go check out the... main uh, the main area yeah all right all right that got cleaned up let's get a look oh that's nice Still of oh, check in points. Engineering and upgrading projects as soon as it's more advanced construction. Okay. Staff's combined agility. Okay. Engineering, manage. Realign staff. This is engineering. J 
Jake and Lupe. Makes sense. Now department head for engineering. And this will be for uh, Aiden and Teresa. Exit. There we go. Grades category require multiple days. Use the engineering command. command. Security rooms. Hey. All right, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Huh? What's up? Ooh. I always like when I find new ammo. Hey, Jake. Of laborers, which is at this point is pretty much all we need. Hello. What's up? Oh, I thought I could grab the. Let's grab a seat. I guess I guess these are metal detectors. Take some construction. This may be in the form of daily scrap. Upkeep. Okay. Here are my staff's concerns. Yep. Hey, what's up? Excuse me. Oh, hey. Um, we've a bit of a problem. Oh, boy. Take it easy. I'm listening. Our building supplies. We used them all up. We can't do no more projects. Okay. I'm surprised you didn't have more materials on hand. Has there been some sort of disruption to our supply chain? <laughs> uh. Oh, let me guess. We don't have a supply chain. Uh, no, we don't have one. <sighs> then I suppose we'll have to start setting some up, won't we? Okay. Hmm. Jake explained you own and operate a number of settlements. Perhaps we could take the supplies we need from one of them. Whoa, whoa, hold on. You can't just take people's stuff like that. Why not? Why not? Look, I don't know how stuff works in a vault, but up here, people have independence, and they work hard for what they got. If we go demanding what's theirs, then we're no better than the gunners in my book. If you're good to people, they'll be good back. Yeah, what he said. So what do you propose we do instead? Trade. Well, instead of just taking from people, why not just ask them to donate what they got spare? Providing we ask nicely. I bet most people helped by ASAMs would be happy to send us what they can. If we're putting it to a vote, I vote for the ask nicely plan? I have my doubts. 
But uh, you know the people of the Commonwealth better than I. If you think asking nicely would work, then go ahead. Hell yeah. I shall await the bountiful inflow of supplies with bated breath. It'll work. Don't worry. I think so too, but maybe first you should try asking someone more likely to say yes. Hey, you know who we should talk to? Stodge and the others. I bet they'd be willing to send some supplies and materials our way. Oh, hell yeah. I'd be glad to talk to them. All right. I'll meet you there. If you can get the supplies, I'll make sure they're all organized and stored properly. That way, we can use them as soon as they arrive. Hey. I should get back to work. Hope everything goes well at the settlement. It sounds weird, but her chin scar is adorable. Like, it just adds so much to the character. Like, it's minute and small, but, like, I enjoy little details like that. Yes? All right. My social behavior will not be tolerated. Well, fuck you then, Mala. I am... The humble host, when he is not on stream, is very antisocial. Okay. And Red Rocket is decent. In fact, I should probably... It just said Starlight Drive-In's under attack. Fuck. Okay, cool. Alright. I think I need to toss a couple more beds down. Before I'm like, hey, uh... Dodge. Hey, how you doing? So, the research tells us you need some supplies for your new headquarters, build materials, and so on. What have you got in the way of supplies? Thanks to the ASAMs, we got plenty of stuff to spare. Building materials, food, water. We can even spare a few caps if you need them. Anything you can do to help us? You helped us out when we needed it most. Time to return the favor. 
We'll gladly share what we can. Hey, thank you. See, I told you they'd help. Guess all that's left now is to set up a supply line. Hey, you think maybe that's something the ASAMs could build? You know, the infrastructure and stuff. Yeah. I'll give it a try. Be my guest. Already has caravan service. I'm gonna head hey. back to HQ. I'll see you there. <laughs> oh, hey. So, how's business? Which caravans come through here? So, how's business? I just want to trade a few things. Uh, oh, shh. Woo! Uh, Alright. Let's head back to the HTQ. Sick. What are they, uh... Are they low on anything? And uh, if red rockets connected, charge recording scrap and food for HQ. Supply agreement, power transfer. Okay. Logistic. Do you mind? And red rocket. There we go. Okay. Hey. Best to get there. Fuck. Hey, hey. You need to reassign some personnel. Move around what we already have. That would still leave some departments shorthanded. Well, I don't know how anyone expects me to do anything with the number of people I have. Easy, easy. Oh, hey, welcome back. Everything okay here? Seems we've not got enough people to cover each department's needs. Though everyone's fighting again. Just hold on a minute. I'm sure we can work this out. Nice to hear a voice of reason. Look, I got an idea on how to fix this personnel shortage, but it's something I'm going to have to run past you first. Okay. Of course. Go ahead. It's a solution similar to our supply shortage problem. Simply put, we ask people from settlements to come work at the HQ. I can't imagine many, if any, would turn us down. <laughs> huh. That's a good idea. After all, we got plenty of talented folks living in our settlements. But if we did start bringing in more people, we'd need someone to take charge of them all. 
Otherwise, it would just be chaos. Ugh, fine. If it stops you knuckleheads from bickering, I'll do it. I'll take charge of personnel. There we go. I don't want to make you uncomfortable. Are you sure? I got this. Quit worrying so much. All right, problem solved. Next time you need a settlement, scout out potential talent and send them our way. Indeed. But the more skilled people you send to us, the faster your department heads can improve the HQ. For now, let's get back to work, everyone. We still got a lot to do. But hey, Slick, if you got a moment, come talk to me in the Kamalai room. Sure. Administration. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey. End of project. Okay, cool. Okay. I can do that. While we're waiting for Jake to walk down. That's the thing right there. Ensuring caravan. But before we talk to Jake, I need to go use the washroom quick. So be right back. I have attend. All right. Let's get back into it. I was going to say, Jake, you coming? Uh, Grey Garden, Optimal. seem unprofessional in front of the others, but uh, <laughs> wow, we really are doing this. Yeah, we got our real headquarters. People know what they're doing. We're on the verge of becoming a true power in the Commonwealth. And the cherry on the cake is that you're the one leading it all. Oh, I'm excited to see what we can do. <laughs> you're not the only one. Feels like I'm one big step closer to finally finding my kid. Anything you want to talk about? I touched on this earlier before, about my daughter, Laura. She's been the driving force behind all of this. You know, ASAMs, mm -hmm. settlements, and now setting up her own headquarters. Back then, I wasn't quite ready to... Hey. ...explain what I meant by that, but I think I am now. That is, if you don't mind hearing all about my personal struggles, of course. <laughs> Let's hear it. What's on your mind? Well, 
It all goes back to before Laura was born. Before I even met her mother, Caitlin. You see, my hometown, Sanford, it was a bustling trade hub. Whole place was built around a huge purification plant. Pre-war, but still working. The plant was run by my father. It was the pride and joy of the whole town. Okay. It supplied clean drinking water to the thousands and made Sanford a wealthy settlement. Did something happen? <laughs> yeah, something happened, all right. Now, the old saying goes, nothing good lasts forever. One day, there was an accident at the plant. One of its fusion generators began to overload. Ah. If left alone, it would have set off a chain reaction, caused an explosion that would have taken out the whole town and a good chunk of the surrounding area. Mm. My dad, he stopped that from happening. He pulled the fusion core, but it cost him his life and severely damaged the plan in the process. Uh -huh. I'm sorry about your dad. Thanks, but that was a long time ago. I've made peace with his loss, and I'm proud that he died a hero. Anyway, after the accident, the plant shut down for good. I simply didn't have the caps to repair it. And no one in town was willing to foot the bill. So I sold what was left of the plant and settled down. It was around that time I met Caitlin. And not long after, we had Laura. After losing my dad, the plant, I was in a dark place. But Laura, she changed all that. She gave my life true meaning again. Without water to export, Sanford began to crumble around us. But I didn't give a damn. I had my daughter. Enough caps to keep her safe and well fed. That's all that mattered to me. Understandable. I thought so too. If the town wouldn't even help me fix the purifier that made them what they were, why should I care what happens to them? Mm. But Caitlin, she didn't see it that way. She said the town was dying, and in time, it would drag everyone down with it, including us. For years, she told me I should buy the plant back, try and repair it, that if I didn't, I'd be selling Laura's future short. Eventually, I told her to just drop it, that repairing the plant would be impossible. Caitlin didn't like that answer. We separated a few weeks later. That didn't stop her from bugging me, though. Now, whenever I saw her, she'd say, You can stay here in Sanford, but pay for me and Laura to go someplace better. I'd ask where in the waste she'd even go. The response was always the same. The best settlement I could find. That Laura deserved no less. It sounds like he was trying to motivate you. <sighs> Maybe. Mm. In the end, I think she just got tired of me always blowing her off. She decided to find a better settlement for our daughter with or without my blessing. That's when Caitlin left Sanford, taking Laura with her. As soon as I found out, I chased after him. It took months, but I tracked them to the Commonwealth. Didn't take long for me to find a lead to their whereabouts. Turns out they stayed in Diamond City for a while, in the dugout inn. But by the time I arrived, they already moved on. Apparently, even the great green jewel didn't meet Caitlin's standards. Damn. After that, that trail went cold. I couldn't get no trace of where they'd gone. But I know they're still out there. They have to be. That must have been hard on you. I figured, since I couldn't find Laura, then I'd help establish the best damn settlements the Commonwealth has ever seen. Hmm. I'd create the perfect settlement that Caitlin was looking for. And by doing so... I'd make her bring Laura to me. That's how I ended up discovering ASAMs, and why I started giving them out to people. And then I met you, and well, you know the rest. So, now you know why I've been doing all this, why it's so important to me, and why I'm so thankful for everything you've done and continue to do. After what happened to my family, I can understand. Yeah. I guess you, of all people, would. Thanks. Anyway, now that we have the Commonwealth and the HQ, we truly have the means to create some of the greatest settlements in the Commonwealth. It's still going to take some work, mind you. We'll really need to push the HQ to its full potential. However, I've got a number of upgrades and improvements in mind that I think will do the trick. Oh. 
What sort of upgrades are we talking about? For starters, the HQ's power generators. They're a little temperamental. We can improve that. Also, we should get all the terminals here networked again. That would definitely help our productivity. I'll do everything I can to make all this work, but I can't do it alone. I'm going to need your help, and the help of everyone in HQ as well. We'll take care of the Commonwealth together. Thank you. I really mean that. Oh, uh, before I forget, I set aside a little place for you here. Oh. A home away from home, as it were. You should go check it out. Here's the key to unlock the door. Oh. Thank you. I'm sure that'll come in handy. You're welcome. It really is the least I could do for you, but I hope you like it. All right, we've both got a lot of work to do, so let's get to it. Let's rebuild the Commonwealth. Hell yeah. All right. Gotta go upstairs to check out that room. Private room, you say? Your own. Ooh. Very simple. Smell rebirth. Oh, nice. Thank you kindly. Oh, power distribution. This well sensing? This world above comes is very confusing. Okay, cool, cool. I do not have the scrap. Okay, let's actually... There we go. Check out the basement. Basement. Hey. We must talk. You are so very, very distracting. You know this, yes? You're pretty distracting yourself. Uh, I had a point, a reason. Oh, yes. Yeah? My control of feelings is worse than before. 
And you, you are Noel. <laughs> With your cuisine of four little fruits. Aww. But it is not just you. Sometimes a simple compliment, nice hair, and I am flustered, confused. Other times, people suggest the strangest and most blurry things, and I am even more confused. Why do people do this? Because you're so cute when you're confused. You are not making any of this easier. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is cute. Well, I have an extra handle if you need it. I mean, what? 